okay what is up guys this is the enclosure for my larger constrictor and last night he was uh, sleeping like right here in this uh, box is like a height for him I keep it in there so that he can stay warm and secure but last night when I was sleeping in my room he seemed to come off from this lid right here he was able to push the lid out and come out exactly from here from this small hole right here so what he did was he pushed his way out and came out and crawl all the way to this side and on and just when I was about to came out from the living room and he saw me stepping out from the door he direct make a u-turn and crawl back all the way uh, from the table right here and then to the cabinet here you can still see some stuck some shed skin behind the cabinet and from here he crawl all the way down so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go down right now so he crawled from upstairs all the way down here to my refrigerator and stay in this warm spot right here behind the refrigerator you can see him over there you can see Clarence yeah so my plan is to like wait for him to like crawl around the cage maybe soak in the tub and that's when I'll close the hole so that he'll unable to enter back into the hole and will stay in the cage so this is the entire cage is large enough if he won't escape this cage will contain him and yeah i gotta fill up the tub because it's not enough water so he stays inside there because it's warmer i guess so yeah let's say he's inside the cage already then i'm gonna unload all the things that's above here and pull the tank out a little bit so there's much there's small room there and i'm gonna use this cage here to cover the side of the cage specifically to cover the edge of the cage so that he won't escape so yeah that's my plan okay so it has been a week and there was no result so from this refrigerator we took out the screws from the top and the bottom so you can see it can be taken off and that's where we pull clarence out from the fridge yeah that's my friend over there handling him and i will be the videographer and this tub right here is to put clarence inside once we uh, spend a little time with him uh, make tame him down a little bit so yeah this is my friend his name is hazi and yeah he's like a more professional in uh, handling large constrictors so what he did was we basically what we did was we took clarence out from the refrigerator the fridge and now we are handling him like trying to tame him down because he's very curious and there are many noises in the surrounding so he's just a bit defensive and really afraid that we are a threat to him but ob obviously we're not we're just trying to help him to you know take care of him so that once he's uh, he knows he's in a safe place he can eat well and sleep well and thri thrive well as well so yeah Hazi is handling him trying to calm him down and hopefully uh, yeah he don't bite again during the process because uh, I didn't manage to record this just now but uh, Hazi actually got bit just now like twice and hopefully there's no third time if you can see his elbow there's like a few drops of blood on his left elbow and on his right arm there is another bite so yeah hopefully there is no bite and by no bite i mean no third bite and that was the third bite right on the left arm like super that's a huge bite clarence gave hazi right there okay as you all know he's a constrictor so he has no venom so bro how do you feel about his bite that one, that one really hurt. Gigit, pulas, okay bro so what he's trying to say was uh, Clarence bite him and uh, turn the head and pull the fangs out from his skin so yeah that that's basically that's the most hurtful feeling among all of the other two bites the third one was the most pain among all of them but 
constrictor? Yeah, he's a constrictor and he has no venom. So uh, eventually, after washing off and let it heal for uh, two to five, three to five minutes, and yeah, he will be okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, put Clarence inside the tub right here, and now he's calm. So we'll just put it right inside the tub and close the lid, and yeah. We are good to go, right, bro? Okay. So, thanks guys for watching, and that will be all for relocating Clarence back into a safe spot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you like, give me a thumbs up, and if you don't, feel free to thumbs down. So, stay tuned.